Today I'm going to show you how to make your air compressor a little bit quieter. Uh, this is not an earth-shaking revelation about air compressors or anything, but uh, this will reduce the volume of your air compressors. Uh, especially if you have the continuous run feature, if you're doing sandblasting or painting or using a lot of air volume where the continuous run valve kicks on, you're really going to like it. So what I did here, uh, you've probably seen it already, is I run, this. Is, like I said, this is very simple. I just took this is reinforced heavy duty air hose I got from McMaster Car. I ran that down to an automotive muffler. You see the same on the other side. Of course, this is a V4 um, compressor head, two stage. The muffler, uh, I'm sure as you know, drowns out some of the sound of the intake. A lot of your sound comes from an intake, so it's nice to be able to uh, get rid of that sound. The continuous feature on an air compressor, by the way, is where it feeds the, uh, there's a valve that feeds the compressed air back out through the intakes and down the, the um, intake tubes. So it's kind of like the exhaust on an engine. It, you know, there's pulses of sound coming out of there all the time. And it's, although it's not like a combustion engine, it is relatively loud. So these especially help with that because it ducks that air down through into this muffler. And that's really all there is to it. Uh, all you need is a, a a good size muffler that will allow the airflow, and just about any muffler will do, I would think. Uh, I needed one big enough to fit these two tubes in here. I actually wanted to make some sort of machined uh, interface on here and put two pipe fittings to fit these tubes, but for right now, I just have the foam rubber stuffed in there, and so I'll get to it someday, I guess. This is the muffler off of my Ram 1500. I have another video where I change it out for sport muffler. So I had this sitting here, so I decided to use it. I wouldn't recommend using a real old muffler that's plugged up with carbon. Not only because it's plugged up, but because the carbon could get sucked back into your compressor. And that's, they don't like that. The other thing I was going to tell you too is the, the Polar Air, um, the, the company already has an option like this called the Silent Air option. Now, if I had to do it over again, I just would have bought the silent air option because it wasn't much money at all, really. If you're spending the money on a new compressor, you might as well just get the silent air option. It's really nice. It's, it's kind of along the lines like this. They use a muffler, but it's a larger uh, rectangular monolithic looking muffler with the air filters inside. So they get rid of these, these um, air filters right here. Uh, what they do instead is they take a steel elbow and run it into the intake of the cylinder and then have a pipe fitting that hooks onto here. And it works really well. I've seen their demonstration videos and apparently you can talk right beside these air compressors. So I don't know what else they might do to them, but I know they definitely run this. Uh, I probably will end up getting their silent air hardware at some point, ordering it from their website. However, if you have, you know, a lot of you don't have polar air air compressors, so you don't have that option. So this is still something you can, you can, you can do. I mean, this only takes a few minutes to do, really. Okay, I have removed the hose clamps now on both of the hoses, uh, so these can just freely be slipped on or off. There's really no barbs on there to catch them. I'm gonna fire this thing up and show you the sound difference uh, on regular mode and continuous mode. As you could hear there, there was uh, quite a bit of difference, especially in a continuous run mode. And that's the one if you're standing there at a sandblaster for a continuous amount of time. Uh, that's the one that really wears you down. 
So go ahead and give this a try and let me know how you make out in the comments section. I hope you found this helpful and you enjoy my other videos too. Uh, if you did, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and I'll be seeing you next video.